We're going to deal with uh, lighter tube removal and replacement. We've brought out an older unit just to give you uh, a real life uh, look at things here. Um, pilot tubes over time do become plugged up. They, they, uh, the ports, these very small ports along their length uh, can, can become blocked just from ordinary uh, everyday use. Uh, from time to time critters will crawl inside and make a home and all of that blocks the, the free flow of gas along its entire length. And some of the common complaints are, you know, my lighter tube runs, but it's only running part way, or I can't light it at all from this end because the fuel obviously isn't getting down to this end. Or I have a large flame up at the top near my red knob, and we hear that from time to time. Um, usually indicative of a blockage in the tube. Uh, I almost always recommend replacement. It's much quicker and 100% success rate. You don't have to remove the burners to install this part. It's not uncommon to see people replacing their pilot tubes at the same time that they're servicing or replacing burners and vice versa. So if you need to remove the burners, refer to the other video um, so that we can give you guys a better look at what we're doing here in the grill uh, on the pilot tube. We're going to take the burners out of this older grill uh, and come right back. Okay, burners are out. Now we can really see what's going on down here. Um, the pilot tube, uh, we're looking at the ports, they're blocked severely. The owner was complaining of an orange flame in this area. Uh, this is a, a, another tube out of a, another grill that we took out. Again, same scenario, all the ports are really oh, probably half blocked uh, and a lot of soot up on this area from that orange flame, that candling flame. Here's a brand new pilot tube. All nice and clean, the ports are wide open, no carbon. It'll come with brand new eye bolts, okay? And this is what holds the pilot tubes in place. They install by sliding them over the inlet end of the tube, two per tube, with a single nut threaded all the way down. There will always be two for each pilot tube, regardless of size, left, right, it doesn't matter. At manufacturing, we install the tube from the bottom up under the lighter tube shield, which you see here, attach the two eye bolts and slide the tube over the orifice jet here. On this particular model, you'll notice the eye bolt here and here. And with a 3 8 wrench, we can remove those nuts and drop the tube out. So with my 3 8 wrench on the nut, back that off. Now yours are probably going to be corroded, not nice and new like this, like we have on TV. However, they do need to come out of there, uh, do what you have to do to get them out. Okay, the eye bolts are now removed, and it's a simple matter of just pulling it off the orifice jet, and the pilot tube will drop out in the bottom. Got the old pilot tube out, all the old hardware's out of the way, and I'm ready to install my new tube. Um, it comes with two new eye bolts, and what I've done is, is I've threaded one nut onto each eye bolt all the way down, so right till the bottom of the threads. Okay, just a single nut, two of them, and slide them over on the lead end of the tube. Position them about like so, one near the front, one near the back and uh, reach down with the tube here. And honestly, if you have a buddy with you, it, it might make this part a little easier. The tail end of the tube needs to engage with a, a square piece of tubing that's welded to the end panel of the grill here. And you can't quite see it. It's located under the lighter tube shield, but it coincides with the hole in the end that's used to introduce the lighter. Take the next closest eye bolt and get it into position from underneath. Get a nut started on that so that it doesn't fall out on you. Come back to the lead end. Bring it up through the last hole here. Okay, the first hole that's in line with your pilot valve. You got, I've got my other uh, eye bolt here. I'm gonna line it up with the hole at the same time as I'm lining it up with the orifice nozzle. Okay, I brought them both together there. 
make sure this is as seated as it can be. Introduce the second nut. Turn it all the way down. Tight. Come back. Correct this one. Tighten the nuts. There you go. All done.